Hi everyone, um, we're here at Sennheiser Sessions. We've just done the C-Fret session and we're here with um, en engineer John Delph, uh, who has the Edge Studios. That He's very kindly done these sessions in, in for us. In for us? In for us, yeah. Oh, we've Christ. definitely done it in for us. We're in for in us for us. After, after that session. <laughs> yeah. right. um, but we're just going to run through the mics that we've used um, and John's just going to give us a little information of why. So we're going to start in, in channel list order as a traditional thing. Um, here we have the kick drum. What have you got in there, John? Um, well, on the inside, we've got the uh, 901, um, which is the flat con condenser mic, which is like gives a nice clicky, thumpy sound on the inside. On the outside, we've got the... Um, what's that one again? That's a, that's, a, that's a 602. Oh, is that the 902? That's the 902, that's the 902 on 902. the outside. Sorry, I keep forgetting the number. So, yeah, on the outside, we've got a 902. Um, and we combine the two between them. And uh, the one on the inside um, is slightly d closer to the skin than the one on the outside, so we line up the phase of those two together so that when they join together, they make a nice big fat kick drum sound. Fantastic. And moving on to the snare, what have we got on there? Um, snare top, we've got a 441. Um, on snare bottom, we've got a, um, a 906. Um, and it, they use the, the, the reason why I've got the clip on one on the bottom is so we don't have to get another stand in there. And it also sounds great as well. And the combination of those, and then we put the bottom one out of phase with the top one. Um, a 904, yeah, I think it's on yeah. the bottom. 904? 904. Oh, I'm sorry. I've it's totally fine. There's so many numbers, yeah, but yeah. they're all so good. Um, so again, with the phase, you knock those out of phase when you're doing a snare. Yeah, knock the bottom uh, microphone out of phase with the top microphone, and then that makes it a big, fatter sound as well. Right. And also, the bottom one is there to pick up the crispness of the metal snare underneath. Um, and then it's the same with the, the toms. We've got um, uh, 904s on the rack tom and one on the floor tom as well um i love the clips and the fact that you don't have to get another stand in there and it looks a lot tidier as well but again they sound great on the toms um i find that compared to the the uh 604s that were their predecessors um you had to scoop out a little bit of the low mids to get make the, the tom sound nice and fat but with these you can just keep it flat and it just sounds really warm and chunky Fantastic. And then just moving on to some of the metal work there, what have we got on the hi-hats? Um, the hi-hats is a Neumann 184, um, and it's a small diaphragm condenser, but it's really nice, and I, it gives a really quick attack on the cymbals, and it's nice and shiny sounding and stuff. And uh, the same with the overheads as well. Um, a lot of people like large diaphragm condensers for the overheads, but I actually quite like the 184s as a pair on the as for cymbals as well, because they, they just seem really bright, and they react a lot quicker to the crack of the cymbals fantastic i think that about covers the kit we've got a, a guitar behind you there um and we have a, a, a 609 on there is is that a, a go-to mic for you for uh, for guitars almost definitely 100 percent of the time that's always my first mic that i put on a guitar amp um i just think it picks out the tone of the guitar really really well whereas something like some of the other manufacturers mics uh, make it sound a little bit cold and a little bit brittle and crisp but that's like really warm and nice and that you also do a um the which is the, the the new version of the 906. 906 with the filters. And with yep. the filters on those. And I really love the filters on those because especially when you put it into the vintage mode, so you do the um, the filter on, on that and that makes it sound like a proper vintage mic as well. I really love those as well. Top so. tips for everyone there. <laughs> and then finally, we have, um, this one is fresh out the box. Uh, we have the 435 here, the MD 435 uh, that we've used on the, <clears throat> the session today. Um, this this is obviously um, brand new from November. How have you found using these? Oh, I think it's great. I mean, the, the rejection for the background noise, because we're in relatively small space here. And so sometimes, I mean, you can see how close that, that mic is to the drum kit. And we were getting virtually no spill whatsoever down it. And it's it's really great. And it, it, it's... Uh, the presence in the vocal as well is really, really nice. And so those two things are exactly what you need out of a vocal microphone. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for giving us a rundown of all the gear. No really problem. Sorry it. I was numerically challenged. It's but. fine. It's We've got a lot of numbers, but thank you for hosting us as well and uh, doing the sessions that you've done for us. They've been fantastic. Thank no you so problem. much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Cheers. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos just like this.